Hello everybody. In this video we'll be working with Microsoft Excel 2010 and data validation list. Previously in a video I had showed how you can create a menu in Microsoft Excel 2010 like in a sheet where you have a drop down validation list where it appears like a menu. And just to kind of recap I'm going to show you what that menu looks like, how to create it, but more importantly what I'm going to show is how to modify that list because there's a lot of times where you might create a drop down list where you need to add an item to but because you only selected let's say for example two items in your range and let, and you add a third and a fourth it's very difficult to add a third and fourth unless you're familiar with the naming manager so let me show you how we can set that up first to recap the previous video I'm just going to create a, a list very quick select gender and in my list I'm going to put male female highlight this range and I'm just going to call it the gender list. In sheet one, we want range C3 or cell C3 to be the drop down list. So we'll click the cell, data, and go to data validation, allow list under source. We're going to put the equal sign and then gender list and select OK. So now we have the menu set up male and female, but we might have a circumstance where we don't know the, the gender. We might want to put unknown. To add unknown, first we're going to go to the next item in the list and put unknown. Now at least by first instinct it may be in your gut to just highlight the new range and type in gender list again and just select enter. But when you do that it actually does not modify that same range that or the, na or the name of the range that you created. Rather when you hit gender list and click enter it highlights that range that you created. So to modify that let me show you what we can do without you having to create a new list and setting up that new list right here on your main sheet. So to get that set up go to your formula section. In formulas there's an option called name manager. You can select that and it's going to show you all of the ranges that you've created for your data validations or even those ranges that you haven't set up in a data validation. So in this case here we have gender list and has values male and female and it and it refers to sheets sheet 2 a1 and a2 that range. So what we're going to do is select that list and click edit. And what we want to do is just change the range. So I'm going to go on and and click the sheet option and change the range from a1 down to a3. So now we see that that, that will update. Close that window and select okay and close this out. So now when we go to our select gender we now have three options male, female, and unknown. So I hope you found this very helpful. I know previously in the past I've had a little bit of difficulties before I knew about the naming manager but the name manager is very helpful for editing your ranges and setting up your data validation list. Thank you for watching.